Math 31, welcome to example six. So like always, as we read through this, be on the listen for how many variables do we have? What are they? What am I being asked to find? All right, so Jason always throws loose change into a pencil holder on his desk and takes it out every two weeks. This time it's all nickels and dimes. Okay, there are seven times as many dimes as nickels and the value of the dimes is $3.90 more than the value of the nickels. How many nickels and dimes does Jason have? All right, so if I hear how many nickels and dimes does Jason have, I hear two variables. I need to find out the number of nickels that Jason has and the number of dimes that Jason has. So with two variables, I know I'm gonna be running a two by two, which means once I pick my X and Y, I better find two equations to match them. So I'm gonna let X equal the number of nickels that Jason has. And I'll opt to let y equal the number of, what's the other change? Dimes, dimes that Jason has. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find our two equations. The first thing I see is there are seven times as many dimes as nickels. So there are seven times as many dimes as nickels. So however many dimes he has, it's way more than the number of nickels. So there are, we have seven times as many dimes as nickels. So if we think about dimes, there's more of these, and that is our y variable. So y is seven times as large as x, because for however many dimes Jason has, if you multiply that by seven, that's the number of nickels that this guy's ha that he has, right? So there are seven times as many dimes as nickels. So we take whatever, like I said, if he's got like five nickels, then he's got way more dimes. He's got 35 dimes. And, and that makes sense, right? Because it also says here that the value of the dimes is way more than the value of the nickels. So he should have more dimes than nickels. So again, there are seven times as many dimes as nickels. So if you take the number of nickels, multiply that by seven, that's as many dimes as Jason has. All right, it also says the value of the dimes is $3.90 more than the value of the nickels. Okay, so let's think about this. If you had one dime, what was its value? Oops, not one dimes. If you had one dime, you would tell me you had about 10 cents. If you had two dimes, you would tell me you had 20 cents, right? If you had, we'll go with eight dimes, I already used the number seven. Let's say you had eight dimes, you would tell me you had 80 cents. So if you have Y dimes, you would have 0.10 Y dollars, right? That's how the amount of money, that's the value that those, those nickels, excuse me, those dimes would have. So remember this expression. So 0.10 times y. I'm gonna erase this because I need the space for it. Okay, so it says the value of the dimes is, so 0.10y is 3.90 more, so $3.90 plus the value of the nickels. Well, the value of your nickels, if you have x of them, they're 0.05 times x, all right? So let's, let's reiterate, because I told you this one's a doozy, right? So there's seven times as many dimes as nickels. So for however many nickels you have, which was X, multiply that by seven. That's the number of dimes you have. And if we start talking about the value of this, if you have X nickels, they're worth 0.05 X, right? If you had 10 nickels, they're worth 0.05 times 10, or basically 50 cents. If you have 20 dimes, it's 10 cents per dime. And it says the value of the dimes, 0.10 Y is 390 more than the value of the nickels. All right, so we have all of this. Now again, you could use elimination or substitution. I see this equation is already solved for y, so I'm gonna use substitution. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and say 0 0.10, and instead of y, I'm gonna write 7x is equal to $3.90 plus 0.05x. 
All right, and at this point, again, I've taken my two by two and I've simplified it to a one by one. So when I multiply this out, 0.10 times seven is 0.70. That will equal $3.90 plus 0.05x. I'm gonna subtract the 0.05x over. So I will get 0.65x is equal to $3.90. Now I'm gonna head over to my calculator and let's take $3.90 and divide that by 0.65. It looks like we had about six nickels. All right, so let's take a look here. This would tell me x was equal to six. And then from there, I could say seven times x is equal to y. So y would equal seven times six, which is 42. So this is ultimately telling me I had six nickels and 42 dimes. So we would say, therefore, Jason has six nickels and 42 dimes. All right, and let's just check our equations. Does he have seven times as many dimes as nickels? Yep, that's true. Let's think about how much money he has with the dimes, right? He has $4.20 here, and with the nickels, he has about 30 cents. Right, so let's write, he's got $4.20 in dimes, and he's got about 30 cents in nickels. And I'm getting that because if you have 42 dimes, you do have $4.20. If you have six nickels, well, six times five is 30 cents. Now, is it true that if you take, or excuse me, that the value of the dimes is $4.20 is that $3.90 more than the value of the nickels? Yes, it is, because if you took $3.90, right? If we took $3.90 and added 30 cents, what are we up to? $4.20. So both of my equations are working, and it's just a good little check to do, especially with a, a problem that's as, as tricky as this one. I, I think this sentence in particular, the seven times as many dimes as nickels, that can trip people up, so we wanna be really careful with that. All right. So we're done with the two by twos. We're gonna move into three by threes. We're gonna solve a general problem and then we're gonna solve a couple of applied problems. All right, I'll see you in a bit, bye.